we're using it for betting. Uh, we're using it for a lot of the televisions as well, too. Uh -huh. The only thing that we can't use it for is appliances, but everything else... Well, you can't, we've actually been using it for that, too. Oh, shut my mouth. There you go. Because if it's in a box, it, it'll fit. There you go. All right, there you go. So, but I know that betting is going to be great. Um, okay. And then, of course, with the larger screen televisions, everything from 70 on down, we look, look pretty good. We use it for moving mattresses, um, big kiosks, um, TVs, works real great. Um, I already recommend it for Costco employees because it helps out a lot. All right, thanks. I thought the thing was great, especially for our furniture and mattresses. It worked perfect. I'm general manager at a uh, consumer electronics and appliance um, store. And I use saw tracks, and it really helps um, moving large, cumbersome items uh, like mattresses. It's great for that. Uh, moving uh, large TVs, uh, it's great for that. It makes it a, a lot easier than using a dolly. All right. How does it save you time? Uh, it it moves 360 degrees um, very easily, so it's very easy to maneuver in between aisles. Um, uh, in between products on the floor, bulk stacks, is, is very easy to move just because you have 360 degree movement on it. Is it easy to load? Uh, yes, very easy to load. Uh, very low uh, load height. Um, it is uh, simple to load. Do you think it saves you man hours? It, it saves us man hours, absolutely. All right, that's about it. We use it to uh, move a lot of mattresses and uh, open box televisions. Okay. Do you ever use any of the big screens with it? Yes, we do, actually, from time to time. The ones that customers bring back, we'll rearrange the poles to make them fit accordingly, and then we'll reattach them on and bring them back here. And Okay. So, all right, that sounds good. So is there anything else that you would, could use instead of that or that would really work well instead of that? Honestly, none of our other equipment actually works that well. I mean, sometimes we use the juice, but that's only if that's being occupied. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, well, I use it to move mattresses and, you know, the bases because these things are pretty long and, you know, it's perfect square to get down the aisles that, you know, we have to get down mm -hmm. and, you know, sometimes I have to stand it up and, you know, I can fit more load on here. You know, I, I moved the mattresses, like I had six mattresses to move from one section to another section. I did in like two hours with this. You know, and before we just had to try to lift it up and walk it over or break it down piece by piece. How long did it take you before without uh, that? Like three days. <laughs> just because people get too tired trying to move the things. And I did this by myself in like two hours with the help of this. So it's wow. very official. What is that that's on there? What's that called? What, these? Yeah. Um, this is a mattress. This is a Tempur-Pedic mattress. It's probably 80 pounds. And... This guy's a, a Tempur-Pedic box spring. Um, he's, he probably weighs about 50. But, okay. you know, either way, you know, it's pretty hefty. You have the team lift, but, you know, when the store's short on staff and they don't only got me working back here, you know, this thing helps me get it down without tiring myself out or doing too much work. All right. Well, good. You know, it does work for me. You think there's less chance of you getting hurt with something like that? Yeah, of course. Um, you know, because... It's, it's on the car, you know, I'm moving it, and if something's too heavy or, like, if it's not positioned right, it'll tip the load over that way, whether, you know, if I'm on, trying to push this thing on a dolly, things going to flip backwards on me. Oh, okay. Like that. So, you know, it's, it's safe. The, the bars are, you know, especially great. I'm glad that you put two more on there because now it's like, you know, if I only had these two, I would, like, slide it up here. I put another put the two bars there to, to keep it together, compact, so it'll be stuck so it won't move anywhere. You know, it's, it's very versatile. I can, you know, like I, like you said, put those wheels on it, you know, and then if I'm moving like one of these big 70 inches TVs, I don't have to worry about trying to balance it on the dolly. I can just put it on this thing and just slide it right out the door, and, you know, to the car. I mean, you know, it, it, on a store that has some more volume, like if you've got two warehouse guys that, in the same store at the same time, I would suggest getting two maybe because the juice is kind of outdated. I don't mean, <laughs> it's, it's pretty much just a cart. And, you know, it's good for putting boxes on it, I guess. But, you know, if you really want to get everything that you could possibly have to do done, you know, this is the thing to get it done. It's small and it's, you know, it steers easier than that. You know, that thing I find myself having to try to use my muscles to lift it, you know, and if you don't lift it right, then you can mess up your back and stuff like that. 
Um, with this, you know, you, there's no really lifting involved other than putting it on the platform. The platform is lower, you know, so it's like, you know, I can just tilt it up, slide it under, you know. Sometimes I take all the poles out and just put something on it and just push it around like a little, you know, like make things have wheels. You know, I put a couch on top of it and just slide it around. Oh, very cool. Without having to carry it. Yeah. All right. Thanks.